My name is Louis Stanfield, class of 2003. I work for the City of Sacramento Fire Department, and I live here in Sacramento. I've been coaching Jesuit rugby since 2016. After a career in rugby, I retired at the age of 30. Uh, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. After a stint as a commercial real estate broker and then working for a nonprofit, I realized that I've been missing my calling by doing public service. Both my parents were law enforcement, and uh, while that appealed to me, I knew there was something that was probably a little bit different that would be a little more suited for my skills. And that's when I met with a few friends who were affiliated with the fire department, answered many questions for me, and which set me on to my journey to become a firefighter. The thing that really appeals to me as a become, being a firefighter is not just the service you do, but the value that committing to duty and service brings to me. And this is very consistent with that of what's preached at Jesuit High School, being a man for others. You know, your devotion to God, your devotion to duty to the city and to its citizens. Uh, these are all things that are intertwined. And for me, it was a very, um, it's a very natural progression. And now I feel that this is exactly where I belong. One thing at Jesuit that's always stuck with me is the motto, men for others. And it means more than just, you know, doing things for other people. It means doing things in order to better yourself so that you can be better to help people. And that's always been a part of my life, whether it's taking care of myself through uh, physical fitness, nutrition, proper sleep, good habits, doing the job that I need to get done, which includes going to school, passing my grades, being a good family member, uh, being a good, a good Catholic. Uh, these are all things that have uh, paid into or contributed to my understanding of men for others. As I went to rugby, continued that as a professional career, obviously, you know, in rugby, you're playing a sport, so there's, there's not a lot of giving to other people when you're playing sport, unless you're getting involved in community engagement, which is very much something that I, I did between coaching, uh, disenfranchised youth, uh, just coaching youth rugby, any opportunity I could in order to spread the game of rugby to other people uh, were opportunities for me to continue that mission of being a man for others. And I did that no matter where I went, playing for the national team, playing in Italy, uh, playing in other cities across the U.S. I was always contributing to some type of program that was uh, not just uh, promoting the game of rugby, uh, but enriching the lives of you know many young people, uh, you know many people young and old around me, and that was that has always been the goal. Once I retired from rugby, uh, I never really left it. I continued to coach and give back to the school that gave me so much and to the program that's given me so much, and then ultimately, I devoted myself to duty to the city of Sacramento through honor and integrity and respect, uh, and those are the things that stick with me. One of my favorite memories of Jesuit rugby, at least the one that comes to mind first, is probably the first full rugby game I played. Uh, my introduction was a rugby tournament where I played a very little bit um, and uh, didn't really get the full experience. The following week, uh, we had an inter-squad scrimmage, you know, JV versus JV, and then there was another B-side, a varsity B-side scrimmage afterwards. I played in both those games. and. That is the most tired and sore I've ever been. That night there was a, um, uh, a basketball playoff game at Jesuit High School. Uh, I leave from the scrimmage and go uh, to my aunt's house to shower, uh, but I was completely incapacitated. I was so exhausted and so sore uh, that all I could do was lie in the back of her car as she went into a uh, fast food joint to get you know some type of sustenance for me and I just remember thinking to myself this is what I want to continue doing for the rest of my life I had so much fun and I was so in love with the game and I was so in love with just the camaraderie even though we were playing against each other uh, you know it was it was a, uh, a tremendous experience outside of that one of my most favorite memories is winning the 2003 state championship against Burbank High School that was a very fun memory One of the best lessons I ever learned was when I was playing baseball. I was probably about 10 or 11 years old. It was fall ball, so it wasn't a very, wasn't in season. It wasn't like we were playing for a championship. 
I hit a chopper to shortstop and I jogged through the base. I got thrown out as I came in, it was a third out. My dad met me in the dugout and uh, my dad who coached basketball at Jesuit for a couple of years um, was very upset. And I could hear it in his voice, he told my coach that I would not be continuing to play that day and uh, took me out and very uh, earnestly and very directly explained to me what I had done wrong. Uh, explained to me that anytime you get a hit and you jog through first base, no matter if you get out or not, it's a disservice to yourself, it's a disservice to your teammates, and it's not the way sport is supposed to be played. And with a face full of emotion and tears, he took me to the school and that I went to St. Roberts and he made me run laps, probably about it felt like two hours, but it was probably 20 or 30 minutes. And uh, as I got finished, he pulled me aside and he said, son, what did you learn today? And still with tears in my eyes, full of shame, I said, always sprint through first base. And that has been a lesson that has stayed with me my entire life. Uh, anything you do, you better do it to the fullest of your ability, because if you don't, you will sacrifice whatever is inside your soul uh, to be left un uncovered, undiscovered. And as we know at Jesuit, we go on many, um, many retreats in order to uncover more about ourselves. And any time that you get that opportunity and you leave something left, then it's an opportunity wasted. So always sprint through first base. I think very fondly of my time at Jesuit High School. Uh, I loved all four years there. I loved the challenge that the academic rigor put forth. I love the challenge that it placed upon my soul and my character in order to get the most out of myself and to discover more within. Um, and I love the challenge of the athletics that were constantly brought uh, between trying to improve a team that was lackluster, uh, as in our 2001 football, t football year, into our 2002 where we won section championship. Uh, it was a phenomenal time for my own personal growth. And that is why I feel so strongly about coming back and continuing to give to the school that has given me so much. And specifically to a program who has given me more than I could ever explain. The rugby program for me was the home of where my heart is. Think of rugby, I think of the Jesuit rugby pitch. I think of being on the back 40 and the large oak tree with bleachers underneath it, sitting before games, speaking with the coach, presenting jerseys, these are things that I think about all the time. And if I can help give that experience to just one player, then I would have done my job and it would have made it um, uh, a sacrifice worth, uh, uh, worth contributing.